Well, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Hey, it is very nice to have you here today. On the table is something you saw just last week. <laughs> this is the Monterey Bay Knives Old Guard, and I really enjoy this knife, like a ton. I like most of the stuff that Monterey Bay does. Um, one of my personal favorites, and um, I'm going to talk about this in a little bit later, this is the XLC this is an integral. Uh, I added a Zerkutai clip. Look at that. To this thing. I love the way their handle shapes. I love their patterning. I love the simplicity and the elegance of the Rail Iconico design. I do. And then I was at the shop a couple of weeks ago. And they have a new Warncliffe Old Guard. And I was like, that's cool. And then I found out that it was in their Sanmai ZDP-189, and I was like, that's even cooler. And then I found this one. This is laser etched and anodized. Look at that. Both sides, including the clip. This thing is beautiful. And this was my anniversary present from my wonderful wife. I mean, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Now, the traditional drop point uh, old guard here is a personal user and a favorite. Um, as you can see, I went ahead, as I shared last week, I put a lovely clip on this one as well. But this thing, check this out. Look at that blade shape. Holy crap, that is beautiful. There's that Sanmai line, right? So the way Sanmai works is it is a very, very hard steel wrapped in a slightly softer steel. Uh, ZDP-189 is not stainless, but it is heat-treated up to like 65 or 67 or something like that. It's crazy. Uh, they usually use uh, 420L or a different softer steel wrapped around it to hold, sort of hold it in place, and they're married together. I had a full-on pincher from them in their ZDP-189, and um, I had to sell it. Because sometimes you just have to do stuff like that. And I was super bummed out. The only knife that I had that the guy that was offering to buy knives for me wanted was that one. Uh, so I'm really happy to have some more of the ZDP-189 back in the collection. And, I mean, just look at this thing. It's gorgeous. Now, uh, over there at Monterey Bay, they're doing a whole bunch of this sort of laser etching. If you follow the Monterey Bay Knives uh, TikTok and Instagram, you will see a ton of the work that's being done. Um, you, most of it is very thematic. Um, this one is just simple and elegant and adds a ton of life. I mean, here's the standard, right? Just adds life to the handle. I just, this thing makes me super happy. Uh, we'll do the basic specs on it. It's not much different than that. This Warney blade is my new favorite blade design from the folks at Monterey Bay. Uh, it is one of my favorite knife designs in general. It's got enough tip to be pokey if you needed it to be, but the rest of it is designed for a ton of work. It's fantastic. Let's take a look. Uh, blade length is coming in at three and a half on three and a half inches overall. Grip area is much like the budget version of the old guard that I shared last week. You're looking at one, two, three, four and a quarter. Overall, you are coming in at just a little bit over eight inches. Closed length is the same as last week. It is one, two, three, four and a half or a little more than that. Now here's where they differ. The standard old guard is very narrow in the pocket. If you line it up on the lines right there, you're talking about an inch and an inch and an eighth overall. The warning blade does stick up a little bit more, so you're coming in at just under an inch and a half. As you can see, it, it's a noticeable difference in the pocket. However, once you pop that blade, it is the same fantastic neutral ergonomic handle and then you just get all this blade and the sand mo <laughs> I love knives I do I love 
when something comes along that just absolutely catches my eye. I mean, look, come on, look at that. In this light, it's not going to show that well, I don't think. But in just you turn this thing in the right direction, and there's a purple blue to the anno. Oh my god, <laughs> it's just beautiful. Anyway. I just wanted to share this with you guys. These are available, or versions of this are available um, on the Monterey Bay website. Uh, they are doing more stuff with their San Mai, so you'll see that. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to bother weighing this. It's the same specs as the um, OG. It might be a little heavier because there's a little more blade, but not much. It's on bearings. This is why I got into knife collecting in the first place. Well, that's not even true. I never imagined I'd have things this cool, but here we are. But this is the kind of knife that keeps me coming back. If you guys find yourself out in Carmel, California, stop by. Stop by the um, Carmel Cutlery and say hi to Sanford and say hi to the Monterey Bay Knives folks and... Just check them out and enjoy yourself. I know we do. Anyway, this is the Warncliffe ZDP-189 version of the Monterey Bay Knives Old Guard. It is a Ray Laconico design. Uh, this one is mine. <laughs> they do make one in, in the standard, uh, just straight tie, by the way. Um, I want to thank my amazing wife for getting this for our five-year wedding anniversary. We've been together longer than that, but we've been married for five years. And that's it. I hope you guys are having a great week. Uh, short little video, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.